Wow, I, I can't. I feel like this. I feel like they really need to do something big on March 30th because this is just getting dumb in my opinion. Come on. So we have a huge Diablo Immortal update coming on March 30th, the end of this month. But before then, they are releasing a minor update coming. Uh, and that's going to be coming soon. This is Joy the Sea Reavers through the Season 11 Battle Pass. So today we're going to be going over this minor update as well as the major update coming at the end of this month. Now, we do have some information about this major update coming, but it's also going to be speculation in my opinion as well. So we're going to kind of skip all of this. This is pretty much just saying we will not release a content update in two weeks as we traditionally have. Once the major update is released on more 30, we will return to our bi-weekly schedule. So they're not really doing much as of now. It's pretty much what they're saying. Then after the big update on March 30th, they'll start doing their bi-weekly updates, you know, every other week uh, starting again. And we'll just kind of go over this on March 8th from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Pacific Standard for uh, America as well as, you know, four to six Oceanic and China and all of that. But let's get into this. The feature updates for this first minor update, uh, Armory Optimization. The Armory will now allow players to choose whether to save specific items to loadouts in addition to other properties, legendary assets, gems, uh, bonus attributes, paragon tree skills. This change is being made to amend a bug that occurred when players would attempt to sell or dischant an item was saved within a loadout. So very good. You don't have to worry about having to swap your skills, swap your gems, change your paragon tree. All you have to do is go to the armory, probably just click a button and it'll change it all for you. So very nice. A new checkbox feature has been added to the armory UI, allowing players to toggle whether specific equipment is saved to a loadout. Players can check the box to save only properties or leave the box unchecked to maintain current armor functionality. Okay, basically you're just checking off which what you want to be saved to the armory. Pretty much just to simplify it. Teleric Pearls Crafting Streamlining. Okay, if you have previously visited the gem binder in an Elder Rift, you can now craft legendary gems with Teleric Pearls directly at the Apprentice Jeweler via the Teleric Craft tab. Players will still need... 40 Teleric Pearls to craft a legendary gem. Okay, I mean, it, it is what it is. Is You still need your 40 gems. It's looking like, hopefully for the major update, they kind of lower that. They won't, but that'd be very nice. But this looks like this is just giving you a, a, a added uh, way of doing it, so not too bad. Helkery Raid Notification Setting. Through community feedback, it was brought to our attention that receiving multiple Helkery Raid invites at once Hides pertinent gameplay information from the player. Now when a player receives multiple notifications at once, the indicator will point out to an option in the settings menu that allows players to opt out of Hellcury raid invitations until the next reset. Not too bad. So once you've done your Hellcury raids and you don't need to do them anymore, basically you'll be able uh, to block getting uh, notifications from the Hellcury raid. So pretty cool um, bonus. I mean, I, I don't really have that problem and I, I would never find it a problem, but it is nice to have. It's always nice to have extra stuff so hills trader refresh indicator a timer has been added to the hills trader shop menu to indicate when their stock will refresh so just letting you know when it refreshes now it refreshes at 5 a.m here in america i know for sure i'm not sure if it's different in other countries but i kind of just know the next day after 5 a.m pretty much when i wake up in the morning that it's refreshed but i guess a, a, a indicator you know a notification let you know i guess that's not too bad well let, let me see what they we realized it was difficult to predict when the hills traders inventory will refresh we wanted to make this information more apparent to save players time okay there you go. Hopefully it helps some people. Uh, defend the Vault queue. The queuing system for the Immortal team in Defend the Vault will now prioritize alerting a team near the front of the queue who has similar strength to a cor corresponding Shadow Raid. If no proper match is available, then the queue will continue as previously did and alert the Immortal team closest to the front of the queue. Very nice. Okay. Adventurers Path Limited Time Event. So this looks to be a new event uh, that's going to be coming. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's a fun one. Hopefully they kind of mix things up. But let's go ahead and check it out and see. In Sanctuary, few are capable enough to stand against the darkness and wager their life for the defenses. But you adventure consign your days to thinning out the ranks of the burning hells. Okay, from March 8 to March 16th, server time. As you complete Adventurer's Path task, you'll earn gold, enchanted dusk, and scrap materials for your heroics. Racking up enough completed tasks. We'll also unlock these milestone rewards for you. Okay. Upon completion of three tasks, we get one re legendary item. Five tasks is three rare crests, 16, one pillar pure, and 20 tasks is one legendary crest. Okay, this is kind of disappointing. This really ain't cool at all because it's just one of those things where you'll be doing the same thing that you're, you always do and you'll just be getting extra rewards from it. I guess it's not so bad to have these extra rewards, but it's not really anything new or 
anything like that. So that, it's a little disappointing. I'm actually, they, I'm really hoping this this next major update is a is a big hit because these minor updates, man, have just sucked. Not to get off on too negative of a path here. Okay, we got Fractured Plane coming back. This is the third time it comes back. So we'll be able to do all of this again and probably collect the rewards like last time from completing each uh, floor. Uh, season 11 Battle Pass Sea Reavers. Okay, this cosmetic here looks just like the last season. Um, pretty much it's a pirate with an eye patch. Didn't last season have a, a pirate with a... Whatever. <laughs> Embrace the salt scrub life of Sea Reavers, the new battle pass devoted to exploring Sanctuary's high sea. The Season 11 battle pass emerges on March, March 16th. Okay, I'm still just shook by this cosmetic. Why is it so similar to the last one? That's, that's very stupid. This battle pass will sink back to the sea floor on April 13th. That's when it's going to be over with. Wow, I, I can't. I feel like this. I feel like they really need to do something big on March 30th because this is just getting dumb in my opinion come on give us something good blizzard what's going on here uh a cursed secret limited time event uh i kind of scrolled over this this is pretty much where you just log in and they'll just give you uh free rewards so i mean this is another event which is really nothing different to it it's just all the same thing over and over again so uh hunger and moves coming back as i was just talking about the same thing over and over again uh more sturdy it'll be back uh through complete tax your game power blah 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 pretty much all of the same stuff this here is going to be the rewards from the hunger and moon so you know this is pretty much what it always is so contest of knaves knake can blah cosmetic okay this is just going to be a new paid cosmetic uh pretty cool i won't be buying any of them really like the uh is this is the, the barbarians in the background here what's this this is the necromancer i see the skull right here okay pretty cool uh yeah decent the demon hunter uh we got the monk, we have the sorcerer and the crusader. So yeah, this is just the uh the the pretty much the art from it. It's pretty cool. Okay, coming in here to the bug fixes. Okay, this is from March 3rd. Uh fix the bug in the event calendar with the Shadow Alliance clan icon would accidentally apply to the visual effects of events created by adventures or immortals. Fixed an issue where events that have already been performed on the today tab of scheduling. Uh, still send notifications are automatically navigated. Well, thank God. I'm glad they're finally doing away with that because that gets very aggravating. Like whenever you close it and then it'll pop back up. Hopefully that's what they're talking about here. And it'll just stop just popping back up uh, after you've closed it. So because that is very annoying. I don't like it. Fixed back in issues affecting battlefield and social user interfaces. Fixed the back in issue that affected the styling gifting feature okay that looks to be it so okay so very disappointed but they did say that this is a, a minor update so okay i mean it is what it is i guess we'll have to check back more sturdy and see if they make some good improvements now speaking of more sturdy this is what i was talking about at the beginning when i said we did have some information in regards to it now i couldn't actually find the chinese pass notes I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I, I was watching DM's video and he actually found them. Uh, okay, it says we are also in full swing to produce a new large version on March 30th when a series of new PvP and PvE gameplay will be launched, waiting for the review of all adventurers. Okay, so this is very good. A new PvP mode is what a lot of people have been screaming for. Uh, new PvE modes. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be like a new event like kind of thing. To me, it's probably going to be something like a new type of Fractured Plane, like a whole new game mode entirely. But very excited, very cool. Uh, like I said, this minor update here, it is what it is. I mean, they, they obviously are, are in between big updates right now. So they're kind of just putting something out. At least I hope that's, that's all it is because uh, very lackluster is it's kind of whack. And uh, hopefully the, the more sturdy update lives up to expectations. Now, a lot of people have been posting about the Blood Knight, about a new zone and this and that. Pretty much stuff that's been found in the game code i don't really want to talk about that here because we've been speculating that for months now it's probably been three or four months we've been talking about the blood knight and the new class we'll just have to see we'll have to wait for blizzard to put out the information uh to know for sure so don't want to speculate too much but that's what we know for sure new pvp new pve game modes hopefully they're fun because like i said this this update here is a little underwhelming so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all found this information valuable. If y'all did, please drop a like and subscribe for more. And like always, much love to all y'all.